Welcome back to Let's Play Fast. So at the moment we're at level 10. Let's go ahead and confirm that, yep. Combat rating 10, equip CR 9. That's our equipment right there, and if you notice up in the right hand corner, yeah, we got a couple of missions. We gotta head into the watchtower. And uh <laughs> let's play fast, y'all. Here we go. Cash rules everything around me. So we're gonna open up our journals here. We're on our current mission, Welcome to the Watchtower, which is a level nine mission, but it basically introduces us to the watchtower and all the things that it has to offer us. So pay attention during this mission. Watch you know, go around the watchtower. Figure out where everything's at, figure out the layout of the place, and, you know, just explore. Alright, so I'm in a mission here, just running throughout the watchtower, but, you know, I'm just gonna give you a quick synopsis of, uh, what we're doing. If we open up our map on our menu, we can zoom in and out uh, on, our, on our map of where we're at, find out our location. If you tap the right click on your mouse, you can make a location for you, and basically, it'll be a green arrow on your menu map up top, so that way, if you wanna, let's say, get over here, you can basically tell the map this is where you wanna go, claim an X over here, and then, you know, just use that trail to help you get places you wanna go. You can do this on any map. In, uh, in the game, even in open world, so it's a good little tip to, to remember either where you are staying or where you want to go or if you want a group to go ahead and meet up with you at a certain area because if you're in a group and you go ahead and click one of these things on the map, it, it'll appear for everybody in the group. So instead of just telling them, just, you know, follow my, my arrow, just, they'll just go ahead and follow that little uh, tick that you put there on the mini-map. And as far as this mini-map goes, just, just read, y'all. Just scroll over these items, read, and they'll tell you where everything's at. You know, this is uh, basically, uh, I think it's three different tiers, like three levels, just like a basement, a main level, and an upper deck. But uh, you, once you get used to this layout and running around in the watchtower, it'll be cake, so don't worry about it. You'll get used to it. Let's keep going now. And we're back. We just ran the watchtower. Uh, finished that mission. Let's go ahead and access the journal. Make sure we complete it and gain our R&D scanner. Our five, five marks of victory and uh, the XP that we're going to go ahead and get. 2,867 XP. So that's uh, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and keep uh, leveling up and uh, see what's going on. Let's go ahead and talk to Phantom Stranger. He's going to give us all our plans for exobytes so we can go ahead and uh, make exobytes once we collect exobits and our next mission is to explore the vault so let's go ahead and get our free marks of victory remember to hit the vault up every day get some styles get your marks of victory and you can get some gear every now and then if you get lucky to level up your tune so collect the plans that you got to make exobytes from Doctor Strange once you come out of the vault it's going to prompt you to go ahead and collect your layer. So you can choose a, you know, deco layer or gothic layer. Go just go ahead and collect that as if it were a style item. After that, you're going to go ahead and collect your deed and choose uh, which city you want to go ahead and live in, Gotham or Metropolis, and then choose what kind of layer theme you want. All right, so once in your layer, right, you're going to be prompted to go to this console right here, right in the beginning of your layer, to collect these base items and place them inside your base so that you can get used to the action of decorating your base right but it's also going to give you your armory so you're going to collect your armory in decoration mode with the console go to your armory you can go ahead and imprint the current loadout that you have at the moment but for that to be active you got to go ahead and make sure that you activate your generator so go down here get your generator activated After you're done with all that, just go ahead and uh, meet up with Zatanna in Chinatown. Boom! Level up, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Wait, level 11? The fuck? Let's fucking grind, baby. Let's go! Man, I'm so sorry to cut you off in the middle of that incredible fucking song. So, um, more importantly here, we're equipping some gear that uh, we have in our inventory that'll help us maximize our damage output. But we also just got a power point, which we're going to spend on bitter winds. And this is going to be very important and crucial to ice, because that will later upgrade to uh, wintry tempest. But at the moment, bitter winds is a great AOE, and... It'll grant a chill effect. Not only that, it'll inflict frostbite. And if you read the power interactions in Ice Powers, frostbite, uh, frostbitten enemies will take additional damage when you hit them with Arctic Gust. So you want to go ahead and maximize that damage. Make sure that you apply frostbite to your enemies before you spam Arctic Gust. 
A great way to do that is to hit bitter winds, cold snap, and ice snap, ice bash, which is your buff, all at the same time as you just saw on screen right now, and then just spam the hell out of Art of Gust. And uh, get used to it, because that's what you're going to be doing the rest of the game. All right, let's go back to this shit. Looks like Chaos after this round here has had enough of an ass whooping and uh, he decides not to come back. You know, don't don't do this. Don't do this people. You're gonna you're gonna learn more from a loss than you are from just hanging back. I know it's tough sometimes and you know to grind out your gear and you know to fight against fucking cheesy ass power and cheesy ass moves, but that's what it is. But don't don't just give up. That's just sad. Yeah, you're going to get your points, but what are you going to learn? You know, you're just going to be that much more worse the next fight. Keep fighting, even if you get your ass kicked. It's going to make you better in the long run. All right, so we're about to head into our first PvP match. You notice that purple soda that I got on? It costs $500, and all you need to do is uh, come to one of these guys in one of the stations, and he'll go ahead and sell you that soda for about 500 bucks. So you can use that one in PvP and it's unlimited. So that's called Solar Coda Infinite. That's the one that you want to be using in PvP. Sweet dreams are made of the All right, let's go ahead and queue up for that arena PvP. So we can go have our uh, our first fight and do good on the mission. Basically getting some XP and some additional skill points out of this. So let's queue up and get ready to fight. Everybody's looking for something. Here we go.
and of course we couldn't have a, a finish fight in DCU if we wouldn't have a little bit of trash talking after the fight. Looked like uh, Blood there, uh, think he took it easy on me. Well, I wrote back, me too. You know, level 12, no finisher, I think I took it easy on him too. But uh, let's move on. Some of them want to use you. As I said before, remember to get these little side missions. They just provide a little bit more a XP while you're doing your missions and help you level up to 30 just that much more faster. That much more. I, I gotta stop saying that shit. It's fucking ridiculous. Alright, let's go inside. Some of them want to get used by you. Bing, bam, boom. As all fucking missions just keep going in there, you know, pick up objectives and smash faces in. That's basically all you're gonna do in here. Just make sure you follow your map, kill all the red dots, save all the police officers and the downed Amazonians. That's basically all you're gonna do. Just keep going. Some of them want to abuse you. Alright, so we're going through the mission and, you know, we're almost there. Almost finishing the mission up. And what you want to do now is you pick up that little chest. Make sure you equip all the newest and latest gear that you got on with the highest uh, item level. This will make sure that it uh, keeps your CR going up steady. Then we enter the big boss fight at the end against Giganta. Fucking best cutscene of all time in DCU right there. They go back and forth like 30 times. Basically, uh, at first, Giganta is going to be, you know, just taking ones if you attack her. So you're just going to run around and bump into these, you know, crystals. They'll pop and eventually the shield will go down. And uh, if you end up like me without power, <laughs> you're going to have to just uh, work your way around it if you don't have any sodas equipped because you want that extra skill point. Oh, those extra skill points for hard knock feats, right? So you're just basically going to wail on her as much as you can, gain some power from the barrels that are there, and equip that nice chest piece that she's going to go ahead and give you. Finish the mission off. Check out your stats. Some of them want to be Alright, once we kill Giganta and finish the mission, get our feats, we're going to go ahead and press J to access our journal to finish that mission off. Just like so. Boom, baby, level 13. Yeah. You know, I, I know in this one we only went through like three levels from 10 to 13, but there was a lot to be done, a lot of... Let's call it politics. Got to explore the watchtower, get your layer, blah, blah, blah. Do your first PvP fight. I mean, most likely for the next video, we'll be going a little bit faster, seeing if we can pop that uh, booster box that doubles our XP for about 30 minutes. All right, nevertheless, I want to thank y'all for watching and, you know, <laughs> staying this fucking long throughout the video. I got a little surprise for you at the end. Um, subscribe to the channel. Check me out. Check out some of the videos that I got. Stay tuned for the Let's Play Fast series. Mad Rabbit out, y'all. Take it easy. <laughs> Man, I hope I don't get in trouble for this video.